Hello everyone, this is Dr. Marrero from Math Topics. This week video is about a key concept in mathematics, a fundamental concept in mathematics, a function, when a relation is a function. Uh, this is critical in computer science. This is critical in every field of the mathematics. And basically I state a very simple idea a function is assigned to each element in the domain exactly one element in the range. Functions can be defined in, in a different ways, including equations, graphs, tables, words, and they can describe linear, quadratics, polynomial, exponential, logarithmic, and many other types of relationships. The key characteristics that define a mathematical entity as a function is that each input from the domain is related to exactly one output in the range. This is what we're going to see today together. Before going over the uh, concept of the function and the abstraction of the concept, I do recommend to go over the briefly over the history of this idea. Why? Because this is a way to motivate the students and this is a way to engage the learner. It's not just the abstraction of every element in one set has exactly one element in the other set and we use f of x and we use this notation for domain and this notation for range. Before that, it's interesting. Uh, that you try to catch the audience uh, interest for the particular topic that you are going to teach or the particular topic that they are going to learn. So let's dive into history. The concept of a function has evolved over the centuries, originating from the need to describe mathematical relationships in a systematic way. The formal definition and use of uh, functions can be traced back to the 17th century during the period of the scientific revolution uh, with significant contribution from mathematicians such as René Descartes and Leibniz. Very interesting, no? What else we can say about history of this important concept? Uh, for example, the notation, who was the inventor, who was the creator, the early contribution. Initially, the idea of a function was closely linked to geometric shapes and algebraic equations. Descartes introduced the use of graphs and Leibniz developed the notation and the concept of a function to describe quantities that change with respect to one another. Then. The term function was first introduced by Leibniz's student, Johann Bernoulli, in the late 17th century. However, it was Euler in the 18th century who played a significant role in the development of the concept. Euler used the term to describe expressions involving different mathematical quantities. This is a step forward in the history of the science itself and in the history of mathematics. I think now that we are ready to start learning the abstraction of this concept. Let's do it together. This is uh, a very primary, simple uh, visualization of the concept of the function. We have here on your left, we have the input values we have here on your right the output values. Let's uh, name these two sets this way. Everyone knows that this is later on will be transformed into the uh, domain. And the one on the right, the output will be uh, transformed into the range. This is the function machine right here. And here we are going to play it with mathematics. A function is no more than a machine that is here that it will be executing some mathematical operations. And the elements that we work with are numbers, this case. 
So look at the uh, what I have here. I have plus one, I have plus two, I have plus three. So if I pick, for example, the first input, okay, the first input number, and I put it in the machine, the answer will be zero. Why? Because I don't have any function ready yet. So I'm going to put plus one, and I'm going to put plus two. So I notice that my output changed because it was initially zero, but inside the machine, that zero was added to one. Zero plus one is one. And then plus two, and zero plus one is one, plus two is three. And we're gonna do it now with number one. And you can predict, to uh, ask the students to predict what's gonna happen inside here, the function, after I input the one into the machine. So it will be one plus one, two, two plus two, four. Let me see if it's working. Four. And you can do it with number two, and you can make ask the students to predict. We are adding two plus one, three, three plus two is five. Um, let's pick one more. Three will be going inside the function machine. And we are going to add one to three, which is four. And then you are going to add two to four, which is six. This is critical when teaching functions. The two sets, the first set, the input, the machine, and that machine will be changing throughout the math courses. That machine will be in the future a linear function. Uh, later on will be a quadratic function. It will be doing more sophisticated operations. But the idea is exactly the same. The input inside the machine, the machine is working out something there mathematically, and the output values. And this is when you, the teacher, can explain why we call the input later on independent and how we call the output dependent. Because the output is waiting for you to pick the input. And that relation independent dependent is critical to understand function and to understand notation y equals f of x. Very interesting, no? You can use this modeling uh, for more sophisticated functions, as I said earlier. Now we have the linear function, so we can use this type of uh, um, lessons to introduce linear functions or to discuss linear functions. Now we have the same situation. We have the two sets. One set, and it's good to specify that to the students, is blank, is empty. I don't have anything. And this is when, again, we can go over the topic independent dependent the independent is right there on your left the x values and then the dependents are the result the uh, what what we have at the end of the process and it's empty right now because i haven't picked anything it's just waiting for me to pick and right there we have the function <clears throat> the function that is very simple initial primary the i don't know the pattern function, y equal x. So it means that no matter what x you pick in the input value, the y, the output value will be the same. And this is can be seen this way. I'm going to grab the, the 0. We're going to put it in the machine, and the answer will be 0. I'm going to grab 1, and the answer will be 1. I'm going to grab 2. Nothing happens. The answer will be 2. I'm going to grab 3, and the answer will be 3 because it's y equal x, that's the, that's the machine. They want not to do anything, just give me the x and that will be the y. But what happened if I decide to transform this? Okay, let me reset this 
and I'm gonna, I don't know, I want to add, I want to add two inside the machine. And look at what happens. Now my function is not one X, the same Y. My function is the X plus two. And you have right there Y equal X plus B. And you have right there the Y intercept two. And you have right there in the future the slope of the line, the rate of change. Look at how many things can be done or can we can we can help to path the way for future uh, complexities. So we're going to pick zero. We're going to put it in the machine. Zero plus two is two. This is the Y intercept. I'm going to pick one and we can predict what will be the answer. Okay. One plus two. The output is three. We're going to put two. Two plus two is four. We're going to pick three. Three plus two is five. And from here, we are going to create set pair of points. X and Y, X and Y. And from here, we are going to move to what René Descartes created, the coordinate system. And then we move to graphing functions. Very interesting, no? Hope that you uh, like the video. Um, and this uh, can be used as an introduction to this function in 8th grade math, in Algebra 1, or every time that a teacher in high school courses or college, even including college uh, classes, you want to refresh students about this important concept in mathematics, the function concept, the function idea. Uh, can be used, uh, that modeling can be used to uh, introduce independent, dependent, graphing, and many other aspects, important aspects, notation uh, about functions. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have reached this part of the video, maybe you like it. Uh, do not forget to visit our YouTube channel and explore the playlist and share this uh, with students and teachers. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.